in in my last week as you can see that was awful awful poor poor records six and nine including the upsets we got the browns beat the jacks jets beat the texans patriots beat the steelers bills beat the chiefs and still rivalry josh allen over patrick mahomes and titans upset dolphins in the final seconds of the comeback in the final minutes as well and then the giants upset the packers and it, another notice this is the one of the second three zero in the one of the worst nfl games i've ever seen since did back in 2007 where the miami dolphins take on the pittsburgh steelers where the weather was playing a mud ball they're known as the mud this is one of the worst games i ever made because steelers and dolphins are no touchdown because of due to the bad turnovers and receptions and fumbles will get the pawn we get the punch and we'll get decided and there's no touchdown including slipperies so the Vikings Raiders did not any touchdown in a single game which is because of due to the uh, due to the intercepted fumble turnovers using a punt so that means there were no touchdown this is the second worst games I ever made since back in the 2007 Dolphins vs Steelers now we're now week 15 as we are now Four weeks left before the end of the regular season. Can wait for this in week 16, 17, or Christmas. And a happy new year. We're gonna find out to see we're watching it. So here we go, guys. This is the NFL week 15 predictions. Start things up for the AFC. We got those Los Angeles Chargers and Las Vegas Raiders. And sadly, unfortunately, Chargers quarterback. It's Justin Herbert is announced they will be out for the season due to the broken finger injured but still in a close matchup I believe the Chargers will pass over the Raiders Steelers Colts but still Kenny Pickett I hope Kenny Pickett that will be okay so there should be happen there so can the Steelers look in a nine straight win the Steelers have eight straight wins against the Colts back in 2011 in the last meeting, they met in the Monday night primetime game that Steelers beat the Colts. And we're going to send the revenge. This time, I'm going to take the Colts will win a close matchup over the Steelers. The Chiefs and the Patriots. I think Patrick Mahomes will win a dominant over Patriots. Jets, Dolphins, another dominated. But Aaron Rodgers will wait to see a retire return will play against Washington Commanders so I'm gonna take the Miami Dolphins will win this game over the Jets Texans and Titans I think that another close I think they're gonna go uh, the Texans will follow the Titans in a close matchup Ravens and Jaguars and the way is finally over Jacksonville Jaguars Welcome back to the Sunday Night Football after a 15-year absence because in the last time the Jacksonville Jaguars was played in the Sunday prime time where they faced the Pittsburgh Steelers in, that ended up losing in week 5 and they closed and then week 11 2018 that happened because the flex schedule because the Jaguars are the worst record at 3-7 and seven. they were replacing by the Minnesota Vikings and the Chicago Bears about I think Lamar Jackson would take her take over in a close game 26 to 23 in a close game Ravens will win over the Jags Vikings and the Bengals I believe I believe the Bengals will win this game Jake Browning has showed them without Joe Burrow I believe I guess the Joe Burrows will not play again because of the ending season due to the I believe ankle or torn ACL. So I'm gonna take the Bengals will win 34 to 10. Broncos and Lions. This is fun matchup. Watson Wilson versus Jared Goff. I believe I'm gonna take the Lions in a close game. 28 to 29. No no 29 28 by the Detroit Lions in a close matchup. 
Chicago Bears and the Cleveland Browns. Another close game. But this time, the Cleveland Browns will win. Dallas Cowboys and the Buffalo Bills can wait the most watch. Dot Prescott take on Josh Allen. And the highest scorer are going to take the shootout grudge match. I'm going to take the Cowboys will win over the Buffalo Bills 42-39. And then finally in the NFC, we got the Packers and the Buccaneers. And a close matchup at Crossfrex. We I believe the Buccaneers will follow the Green Bay Packers. Saints and Giants. I think the Saints will win over the Giants. Falcons and Panthers. I believe the Falcons will win and stop the Panthers in a game. So we're gonna stop that game 28 to 7. 49ers and the Cardinals and I'm gonna take a shallow victory for the 49ers 36 and no and it happened so I think I'm gonna take Brock Purdy of the 49ers and finally ah not yet two we got two two picks two NFC matchups left commanders and Rams I believe commanders will follow the Rams will win this game in a high Highly, highly anticipated in a close matchup. Eagles and Seahawks, and the wait it's over. This will be the first ever Monday Night Football playing with the flex schedule, as they originally matched up the schedule in Week 15 that Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots, because the Patriots are the worst bad team in the record of 3-10. So, because announced on Thursday earlier, not December. It's the Chiefs. Patriots are the worst team. Patriots are and would be a out for the playoff contention. So, I think the Eagles will destroy the Seahawks in a close matchup, 32-27. And then here's the AFC standings. We got the Ravens, Dolphins, Chiefs, Jags, Browns, Bengals. Colts, Steelers, Broncos, Texans, Bills, Titans, Chargers are even the race. And the Raiders, Raiders, Jets are still in the playoff hunt. It could be the potential playoff contention will be eliminated. And in the NFC East, 49ers, Cowboys, Lions, Falcons, Eagles, Vikings, Packers, Rams, Saints, Bucks, Seahawks are in the race. So that's it for now. This is Andre Kenshin. And now we'll wait for the now week 16. We're almost there to the playoff push all well started in the new year. So what thanks for watching. We'll see you in week 16 with Christmas. So with Merry Happy Holidays for that. Sign out and peace out. Bye!